guys welcome back to my channel today i am going to be journaling in my new travel journal that i just got and i wanted to show you guys it's so cute it's one of the most creative travel journals that i've seen it has so many different cool pages where you can color in the countries you've been to and check off the countries off of your checklist and then a dedicated page for each country which i think is really cute i will link down below where i got it from i found the seller on instagram so i'll link that down in the description box below if you're interested so today we are going to be journaling about my trip to thailand so i arrived in thailand april 26 2019 and i arrived by myself i arrived in the airport and i had a little bit of a panic attack because everything was obviously in thai all the signs and i was a little nervous because i didn't know where i was going but eventually i found a taxi that was able to get me to my hotel and everything was fine and then i put all my stuff down in my hotel and i planned to go out and explore the city but i was exhausted i was so jet lagged there was a 12 hour time difference so i ended up just staying in my hotel I went up to the balcony to check out the view, took some photos by the pool, of course, and then just went to sleep. And then the next day when I was feeling a little more well rested, I got up, went out to explore the city. So I walked down the streets, I saw so many little street markets and street vendors selling so much food, There's so many sights to see, so many beautiful temples. I went to Lumpini Park, which was gorgeous. It's one of the most famous parks in Bangkok. Saw so many statues and temples. It was also the king's coronation at the time that I was there. So it's when they were crowning the new king. So lots of things were shut down and there was lots of pictures of, of the king around and flowers everywhere and people outside and parades and things like that, which was pretty cool. Then, of course, I had to take some time to ride on a famous tuk-tuk because what is a trip to Thailand if you don't ride in a tuk-tuk, am I right? <laughs> So I did that and that was pretty exciting. I was a little scared at the way they drive because there's like no rules there and it's a little chaotic, but it was a fun experience. And then later that night, it was time to go out and explore what the night has to offer in Bangkok. So we got dressed up and went out to Koh San Road. And here we saw lots of interesting people, lots more street vendors selling delicious food for so cheap and tons of handmade jewelry and things like that. And then we met up with some girls from our hostel who were also traveling. So we got food with them and just explored the Bangkok by night a little bit more. There's so much to do in Bangkok. It's such a lively city, especially at night. And Koh San Road is a very popular place where lots of young backpackers go. So then the next day, it was time to hit the road and see a new part of the country. So we took an overnight train up to Chiang Mai. It was about 12 hours on a train, uh, but it was a sleeper train. So they gave us beds and everything. So we got to lay out and sleep most of the ride. So we arrived in Chiang Mai around 7 a.m. And then later that day, we headed over to Tiger Kingdom, where I got to hang out with some tigers, both big and small. They were so cute and it was such a good experience. And then after that, the next day was probably the my favorite part of the trip. We went to the Elephant Sanctuary in Chiang Mai where we got to be up close and personal with the elephants. We got to feed them. We learned so, so much about them. The one that we went to had around 20 elephants and they had so much space to roam around and be free and they were treated so well. And this place didn't allow tourists to ride the elephants, which I think is really great because it's really bad for them. And a lot of tourist places allow them to do that. So I liked that this place didn't do that. So we fed them and then we got to bathe the elephants. There was like a small little river thing there that the elephants went in and we got to go in there and bathe the elephants, which I thought was so fun. It was such a great experience, probably one of the best experiences I've had. 
So over the next few days, we just kind of relaxed a little bit and explored Chiang Mai. There's so much to see. It's so different from Bangkok. It's so much more laid back and more of like a jungly vibe. And that night we walked around some more. We saw some more markets and I saw some insects for sale and I was trying to convince myself to try one, but I didn't get around to trying one. I was too scared. We ended up having one of the sweetest drivers ever. His, he told us to call him Uncle P and he was just so, so sweet. He kept a binder full of blank pages for each of his writers to write a little note for him. And when we told him we were from America, he was so excited to show us his binder. All the people that have ridden in his tuk-tuk from America. So he was just the best. If I ever go back Chiang Mai specifically I'm going to try to find him because he was just so sweet and so generous well for the next few days we just explored a bit ate so much food in Chiang Mai is where I tried cow soy for the first time which is so good if you haven't tried it it's like a curry kind of dish that's only made in the north of Thailand and it is amazing honestly I've never had anything like it I've tried to find it since I've been back in the States and it's just I can't find it anywhere So after a amazing few days in Chiang Mai, we headed down south to Phuket, Thailand. And here we just relaxed at the hotel for a few days. I got a fish pedicure, which was absolutely disgusting. How does it feel? I have an <laughs> Don't recommend that. It was a good experience, but I probably <laughs> would not do that again. Yeah, we hung out in Phuket for a few days, kind of just relaxed. The whole trip was kind of like go, go, go on the move. So once we got to Phuket, we kind of wanted to just chill and take it easy. So after like two days in Phuket, we decided to head over to Koh Phi Phi. So we took a little ferry over to Koh Phi Phi where we stayed there for a few days at a beach hostel, which was amazing. It was right on the beach with lots of young backpackers like us. And then... We decided to take a little day trip on this party boat thing that they had. So we did that and that was super cool. We stopped so people could go snorkeling and do some cool backflips off the boat and just hang out a little bit. We met some crazy Australians there. And then we just hung out, partied, danced to Old Town Road because is it really early 2019 if you don't listen to Old Town Road at least once a day? And then after an amazing night out at sea, making lots of new friends and dancing the night away, it started to get dark. So of course we had to head back to the island. My cousin and I went out a little bit, met some new people, had one last night out in Thailand. And then the next day I took a very early morning walk because the view was amazing in the morning and there was nobody outside and it was so such a nice time to just take in all the sights. But unfortunately, that was our last day. So we had to pack up all our things and head back to the airport to make our way back home after such a great trip. We stayed a total of 16 days and we were in Bangkok, Chiang Mai, Phuket, and Koh Phi Phi. So we did get to see a lot of the country. It was such a great experience. Thailand is a beautiful country. I would love to go back for an extended period of time. So I definitely recommend anyone who's thinking of traveling to go ahead and make a trip there. But that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little travel journal with me. And I'll see you in the next one.